Hi, it's uh, Jerry Erish again, and uh, we're in our workshop. I thought today would be a good day to uh, give you guys a uh, little bit of a highlight and show you some of the features of my newest airplane that I've been working on. And as you can see here in the background, the uh, fuselage is uh, almost completed. Uh, it is a Newport uh, 24. It's uh, one of the less uh, modeled airplanes, uh, the Newport 17, Newport 11 being much more uh, popular and of course the Newport 28 being a more modern one. This one was right in the middle between the Newport 17 and the Newport 28 uh, as the numbers indicate. So, but uh, anyway, it is uh, totally scratch built. I built it myself and it is a 27.5% uh, scale and it's kind of a weird uh, scale size and that's because the engine that I have here that I've attached is a um, RCG F50cc twin gasoline engine uh, and but it wouldn't fit into a uh, quarter scale cowling. The cow quarter scale cowl would have been 10 inches in diameter so I uh, upped it 10 percent and so 25 percent plus 10 percent is 27.5 percent scale and that gives me an airplane with roughly an 87 inch wingspan uh, and uh, it's just overall just a little bit bigger uh, than your typical quarter scale airplane so uh, we'll get into a little bit of close-ups we'll uh, see some of the other details and uh, we'll go from there uh, as you can see here, the side panels on the front uh, sides of the uh, fuselage are made out of 1 32nd inch uh, birch plywood, very thin, very flexible, very easy to cut and glue into place. And uh, also the uh, uh, panel, which is around the cockpit is also made out of 1 32nd inch uh, plywood and again it's uh, very easy to work with and uh, for this project I used uh, uh, yellow carpenter glue uh, to glue everything and uh, that works very well. Here you can see a close-up you know of the uh, stringers and uh, of the formers on the fuselage. Like I said there's there's like you know two two portions of the fuselage, those quarter inch square uh, diagonals and the verticals and the, and the cross pieces that you can see there, that's the main frame. Uh, and then everything else is built over that. And uh, uh, it doesn't take very long. It's uh, right now the airplane, uh, all the wings have been built. The fuselage is uh, basically almost ready to cover and uh, everything all told so far we've got uh, about six months into the project so uh, it's uh, it's really coming along and uh, I can't wait to uh, get it to the point where we'll start covering it. So this uh, semi front view here you can see um, that it uh, has William Brothers uh, 6 and 5 8 inch uh, vintage wheels and I uh, just can't build a World War I airplane without those. And uh, the, uh, the main landing gear uh, struts are uh, made out of uh, 1 8 inch music wire and they're bent and uh, they're strap bolted into the fuselage in a, a, a hardwood block with a groove in it. And then down at the bottom where the uh, where the uh, struts come together is I've used uh, mild steel, the 32 thousandths or 1 32nd inch uh, steel and uh, we've made the, uh, the the guide plates and these are silver soldered to the ends of the uh, 1 8 inch music wire uh, struts and later on in the construction it will uh, uh, those uh, wires will be covered over with uh, basswood uh, fairings and uh, be about an inch wide uh, by uh, three-eighths of an inch thick. So it'll have a really nice scale uh, appearance to it. The, uh, the axles, quarter inch, made again out of uh, music wire. And then you can see the two uh, um, spreader uh, rods. And actually these are made out of... Uh, uh, 
uh, brake line uh, for you know hydraulic uh, brakes on a car uh, available at an automotive uh, shop and it's uh, they're three sixteenths of an inch and they're hollow they solder very very well so it's a very good very inexpensive way to uh, add uh, you know the shock absorbing bungee uh, to your um, World War One airplane and then here at the uh, firewall is the uh, RCGF uh, twin cylinder gas engine and this is a uh, 50cc and uh, it, it is uh, equipped with electronic ignition and uh, but we've got a long way to go before the airplane is finished so we'll have to install the fuel tanks as well as the throttle linkage and servos and all of that so but this is just a, a quick rundown on the fuselage for my uh, Newport 24 the 2019 uh, winter building project and uh, uh, stay tuned and um, I'll be showing some more videos as the project goes Bye-bye.